sound of a cannon being fired is indescribable. For a while, I forgot about all of my troubles and simply fired a cannonball each day for my own amusement. Hearing of my new toys, my relatives began pleading for me to retake Transoxiana from the Uzbeks, even awarding me the title Padsha, Great King. A decent ploy, but my attention was now fixed on India. Strictly speaking, India already belonged to me, as Tamerlane had once conquered it for our family. As the last ruling descendant of the great Amir, it was only right that I be given back what someone else was only administering for me. That someone was a man named Ibrahim Lodi, an Afghan pretender who ruled northern India from his capital in Delhi. Seeking to avoid unnecessary bloodshed, I wrote him a friendly letter and gave him a goshawk as a present. All that I asked in return was for my lands to be given back to me. Unfortunately, Ibrahim Lodi never replied, and so I had to put down the quill and let my cannons do the talking. With 15,000 men, I marched on Panipad, a small village on the plains northeast of Delhi. Ibrahim, for his part, mobilized an army of 100,000. In front of my men, I played the intrepid general, unshaken even by this unimaginable number. But secretly, I wondered if I had not bitten off more than I could chew. Ibrahim Lodi is so confident of victory that he has delayed his attack. This gives us time to improve our position. Babo, I am dying to let my guns do the talking for you, but without a supply of gunpowder, the fun will not last very long. Adesh, Lakarhara. Main tayar hu. Lakarhara. Namaste. Lakarhara. Ha. Namaste. Nirmata? Adesh? Samatya? Jish Riman? Natayaru, Nirmata? 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 
The two commanders of the Sultanate's vanguard are fickle characters whose loyalty to Ebrahim Lodi is in doubt. Perhaps we can convince them to join us instead of drowning in the bloodbath to come. Provisions stored in this building will now feed our soldiers and not the armies Arthur. of the Delhi Sultanate. That's a wrong. Oh. Yes, we have looted more provisions. This will greatly weaken Ibrahim Lodi's auxiliary forces. Careful, Amir. For now, we should not go any further in this direction. Or we could provoke Ibrahim Lodi to attack prematurely. Honor of leading the first attack, Babu. Well, apparently you have changed your plans. And that is why I changed. Soldiers, attack! Attack! 
आपकी सेवा में मैं चल रहा हूँ आदेश समझ गया Ottoman gunmen are strong. It must be their coffee.
victory is ours! The panicked enemy soldiers storm off the battlefield in desperate search of shelter. The road to Delhi is clear! On the fields of Panipad, the enemy's strength in numbers proved to be its greatest weakness. Having never faced firearms before, Ibrahim's terrified war elephants were rendered useless by the thundering of my cannons. With little room to maneuver, his fighters huddled together so closely that they became nearly immobile. Firing straight into their lines, my cannoneers created a bloodbath. Just a few hours after the battle begun, there was nothing left of Ibrahim's army. My men found his body in a mountain of corpses and brought me his head as evidence of his demise. With Ibrahim's death, the Sultanate of Delhi came to an end. I had a tomb erected for the fallen Sultan in Panipad, as a reminder that the great Babur treats even his fiercest opponents with respect.